What do these textual critics say about whether we can get to the original? Well, they say we cannot. Shall I get their quote? I'll get you William Wallace now. William I'll Wallace was debating. I'll get you Bart Ehrman. Will Bart Ehrman. He's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Bart Ehrman, please. William Wallace was debating Bart Wait. Ehrman. Here, here, here. William Wallace was debating Bart <laughs> Ehrman. Akhi, 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 Habibi, Habibi. William Wallace was debating Bart Ehrman. William Wallace said to Bart Ehrman in your book, Misquoting Jesus, you said we're able to go back and get the original one. He said, no, I take it back. You know, he took it, so don't try to bring that because he took it back I'm already. You know, Bart Ehrman, he has taken back that statement. He said we cannot do it. William Wallace, who is defender of Christianity, because uh, Bart Ehrman is not a Christian scholar. He's a scholar in Christianity. He was a Christian, he left Christianity. He became apostate because when he saw there's a lot of contradictions. Now, this is so, so you but layman should not be commenting on the New Testament. I'm going to prove to you. Uh, bro, layman my question was to you. Should not be he's not asking my question. He did. He did. I'm going to tell you what he wants. I've got the quote here now. Okay. Now, let me give you some context. Bruce Metzger was probably the foremost, the best New Testament critic of the New Testament. And he wrote a book called The Transmission, The Corruption, and The Restoration of the New Testament. So he believed the New Testament could be restored to its original. How? Oh, we don't have the original writing. No. Look at this. So this guy, are you what? A layman? Okay. Or a textual critic? So you're a blind follower? Are, are you a blind follower? No, no, I'm asking you. No, are you a no, blind follower? Play, no, no, no. Ask so now, now, if, 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 no. Should I believe this layman or a textual critic who has given over 50 years to trying to reconstruct? Okay, let us utilize. So now, if, 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 if a scholar, we're going to, gonna, if you're going to answer, you're going to answer now. Okay. Now, if a scholar, Tell me we are able to get the original writing even though we don't have the original writing. Does that make sense? We don't have the original writing, but we can get it. But guess what? We don't have the original writing. He's ignorant. Doesn't, exist. He's ignorant. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, He's blind following. Okay. So any person, no, that's, why no, no. that's why the Christians are worshipping a baby. No, no. Because why? They, they tend off their brain. No, because no. how on the earth Still you believe... Let, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Right. Let me finish. How on the earth you believe this uh, a, a, a critic, a uh, textual critic, who's, who tells you that we can get back the original writing if well established amongst the scholars of uh, the Bible criticism, we don't have the original writing. Okay. Explain that to me as listen, a human being listen, listen. with a sound reasoning. Okay. Do, do you want me to? Okay. Yeah, as a human being Do with you a brain. know how the New Testament was transmitted? I didn't ask you that. Answer no, me. No, I'm going to ask. You're answer me. You're being answer me. Uh, you look, two that. questions I've answered. The first question was, who wrote the earliest manuscript which King James is based upon? You haven't answered it. Okay, explain, who wrote it? I'm going to explain. Yeah. I'm going to explain. You said, I wrote it. I'm going to explain okay. why okay. it was literally impossible for the New Testament to be co uh, corrupted. I didn't ask you that. Ask, I ask you, look, I King James that you have yeah. is based upon the manuscript, correct? Based on the, uh, yeah, the Greek manuscript. Who wrote it? Who wrote it? Who wrote the Greek manuscript? Yeah. It was a copy of a copy. Obviously. Now, I didn't ask you, is a copy. Who wrote the name? Give it's, me the name. It is irrelevant. If you don't know who wrote the book, okay, are they trustworthy? Well, okay, so let me... Uh, no, no, ask me, are they trustworthy? They if we don't know them. They need to be trustworthy. Oh, they don't need to be trust. So they can be liars. Listen, listen. Oh, you finished. No, no, Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. I'm going. Don't run. Don't run. I'm going to run. Don't I'll run. finish you already. I should need to finish you more. No, let me, let me finish you. Let me finish you more then. All right. Yeah. That's why there are some Christians here. They like to get beat up all the time. No physical, intellectual. This is not one person. So my question was, are they trustworthy? We have over 5,000 manuscripts. I'd ask you that. So the listen, early, the King James, my question, I'm not going to let you speak until you ask my question. King James, you and I will agree, is based upon a manuscript. Came 100 years after. Who wrote it? If you don't know, are they trustworthy? If it's not, or you don't know, can they be liars? If they can be liars, how can you trust a book if you don't know who wrote it? But inside well, it, it's really like Simple it. way so argument. Let me hit it on. So let me I answer my question, please. I can even go, you can go to the, the British Library. Uh, uh, brother, it's too hot to go to the British Library. Just answer my question. <laughs> Yes, it's too hot to walk. I sometimes actually refer back to the Greek. I don't even go to my, uh, my King James. So I don't understand what your point is. My point is, does it mean because it's been written in Greek? Because I can write... Let me turn this back on. No, 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 let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. Let us deal with this issue. Before we digress, 
No, let me finish. You have to let me finish. Do you know who wrote it? Do you know who wrote it? Okay, let me ask him the question. No, 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 no,
since the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they sit down in the masjid, just teach the Quran. That's their job. Their time, even our time. That's why not every scholar was known to have its can in recitation of the Quran. It's not because why it's not conditional. You understand? Because he's not teaching the Quran. Like so the way Subhanallah Allah preserved this book is perfect. Second thing, as a one guy, like I mentioned, some people innovation is guidance. They said, one of them said, so and so doesn't know how to recite the Quran. I've heard people say about Sheikh Ben Baz doesn't know how to recite the Quran. There is this Dubendi misguided person in, in, in Syria, he's in Turkey. He says Sheikh Ben Baz and Albani do, do, don't know how to recite the Quran. Then Alhamdulillah, a brother exposed this individual, he himself doesn't know how to recite the Quran. Yes, why? When they say, because when you bring a scroll of Quran and listen to me or listen to anyone, they can tell you it's not the way it should be recited in the perfect way, yes? But even that some ulama said, Ghulu, extreme. You don't have to say, you know, iqlab, you know, like some people say, you have to mention, and so on. Some people said, there's no need of that. This came after, some people said, no, how the Arabs spoke. Regardless, the point here is that this one of uh, people of innovation, guys, are utilizing that to turn the people away from the truth. Alhamdulillah, in our masjid, we have Hufad, people that memorize the Quran, five of them. And they teach the Quran, I don't teach the Quran. You know, Alhamdulillah, I know how to recite, Alhamdulillah. Maybe out for, I can make mistakes, no doubt about that. Even when I'm reading, sometimes your eyes trick you, no doubt about it. It can happen to anyone, you understand? Even this person who is mocking Uthman Farooq, himself, you know, uh, this Dubandi guy, he himself, he said, he's make, he said, Salat al Jama'a, it's Salat al Jumu'a. You understand? So, yeah, not al Jama'a. Yeah, Khutbat al Jama'a. He said, he said, Khutbat al Jama'a. No, Khutbat Salat al Jumu'a. He's mocking the brother, he said, Fatha laysa dhamma. Masha, you're mocking him because I never, alhamdulillah, sit down in front of camera, try to correct people in recitation. You know, because even if you know how to recite the Quran, but your aqeed is corrupted, that will not benefit you. Abu Jahl in you, you know, if you give a Quran, you know how to recite it. You know, there's extreme Sufis that have the Imams, Mutqin in Qira'ah, that did not benefit them. That's why Allah said, Afala yatadabbaroon al Quran. Do they not reflect upon the Quran? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a kitabun. Anzannahu ilayka mubarakun liyadabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadakkara ulu al-albab. Allah sent on the Quran to reflect upon it. And so, Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said, some people have ghulu in this recitation. So he's more focusing on ghunna, alhamdulillah. But he's not even reflecting upon what is the meaning of alhamdulillah. He's focusing on pronouncing ha, you know, al-meem, al-dal, you know. He's more focusing on maharij al-huruf than reflecting upon what is the meaning of alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. That doesn't mean we should not try to create our station, try to, but it's not conditional if, for every day to do that. You know, if you're going to teach people Quran, yes, to be mutqin, ahsan. Barakallahu alaykum. So I had to clarify that. Alhamdulillah, because I've noticed people of innovation misguidance, they try to utilize this to turn people away from the people of the truth. Huh? May Allah bless you, Akhi. The Khawarij, they will know for Quran. Lakin la yatajawazu hanajirahum. Doesn't know God. He knows, Akhi. Huh? Akhi, one of the best teachers of Quran. What was his name? Abdurrahman bin Muljim. Abdurrahman bin Muljim. He's the person Abdul Khattab said to Amr ibn al-As, he said, I'll let this person to come to you, even though I want him to stay with me to teach the Quran to the people. But I'm giving him to you to teach the Quran. He was a teacher of the Quran. What did he do? He killed Ali ibn Abi Talib. So he's Maharij al-Huruf, al-Zad, wal-Ayn, wal-Ghayn, wal-Qaf, wal-Kaf. Did not benefit him. Subhanallah. You see? So, and the worst thing I ask that these Dubandis, the Aqeedah is corrupted. I'm not talking about every Dubandi, some layman come speak to me. But Dubandi Aqeedah, Ash'ara Aqeedah is not the Aqeedah of the Salaf al-Salih. And they say he mock Ibn Tayyip. I don't mock Imam al-Nawawi. Imam al-Nawawi is big Imam, Rahimah ta'ala. But he has mistakes. But these Muqallidah, they blind follow any scholar. We don't blind follow them. But Imam al-Nawawi, big.